What Josh House has. This is my cart, my child cart that I got. He's stored in this rollaway cart he keeps by the river. This makes number 12 for stolen bikes right here. Along with a backpack. Pretty much everything in life that I own. For over four years, he has lived here at Beard Brook Park illegally. But with a federal court ruling, the city of Modesto has set aside the park in an industrial area as a temporary fix to give the homeless a place to stay, something House prefers over a shelter. So this eliminates all that, eliminates all my stuff getting stolen because I can't take it all with me into the mission, into the shelter. Homeless advocates say this gate to the park has been closed for months, but today it was open. Bruce Dow of United Samaritans of Turlock was getting a head count at the park, anticipating providing free lunches to the homeless will return here. But I mean, it's good. It's just weird because they were focused on driving them out so much and then to just open it up all of a sudden. The city of Modesto says worst case scenario, the park will be open to the homeless for a month. They're working on providing them with water and restroom facilities. Right now, they say it's a fluid situation. We've got a team of, uh, of people in place that uh, are reviewing all of the needs at that location. One of those homeless is former truck driver Gary McNeil, who has used the park off and on for eight years. And it's a good area. Like, it's not, you know, it's in a commercial zone and it's, it's a good spot down there. At the same time, the city is looking at long-term housing solutions for the homeless, such as low barrier shelters, allowing people to bring in partners or pets and more. But for now, the solution is a park, and the homeless who live in it are happy about it. In Modesto, Kurt Rivera, ABC 10 News.